Fuck Frank. Talk in the mic. He's Talk gonna, Frank. Gonna the check it. Get the fuck out, Louis Rojas! Yeah. You fucking suck, you fucking bum! You're the worst fucking Wait, man you ever! Whoa, 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 whoa! He's gotta move his kids now and like. Yeah, he's got a lot. Boo! Man, he's lost his job. Boo oh, him! On. He sucks. You know what? He wanted to have a participation trophy ceremony today. He's a participation trophy manager, so let him take his participation trophy and get the fuck out! And get the fuck out! Whoa! Yeah. Well, I, I got blonde hair, but I got good good hairy legs. Yeah, but these look better. These look strong. No, but they, you trimmed them. Like, either have hairy legs or don't. Why? You trimmed them, Jerry? Yeah, I trimmed my hair, my legs in my hair. You don't? It, I shave them once a year, twice a year maybe, but then the rest of the time I just, I just trim them. You just trim them? them. Yeah. How often do you trim them? I don't know, once every two, three months. You, these are, this is trim. This is either. Yeah, yeah, this is nice. This is look at the thighs. This the looks thighs like a. Nice. You got good looking legs. This is this is like a woman's legs who just has been on Survivor for two weeks. Yeah, but these are look at my calves. My calves are nice, right? Oh, nice. you want calf contest? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, you want know, calf contest? That's nice calf. I'm not gonna lie. Do you like go and trim each hair? No, with the buzzer. It takes three, four hours. I'm saying when I do the shaving. It takes like three, four hours. What do you mean? But why do you just trim it? Why, why, why not shave it all the time or not shave it? Trimming is just so not doing me, anything. Do you want me to shave it every day? No, I don't. No, I don't know. Look here, where's your like that? It's not about the legs. Oh, that's... well, these look bigger. Dainty little. Feet. Don't, don't bring that up, please. No, don't, don't. What size are you? Fifteen. Twelve, right? Seven and a half. <laughs> 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 He's like little ballerina feet. Nimble. <laughs> it was always seven and a half. It was always seven and a half. Frank. Well, you, you like a fast track. Up. That's what it's You don't have no yeah. dogs, right? I have peach foot. All right. You guys ready? All right, ready? Three, two, one. What are you doing, Jonathan? Getting naked, man. <laughs> Why? I don't know how. He comes over to me and goes, can you help me with something? I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. He goes, I'm going to get naked. Don't worry, I'm not gonna wear clothes. Like, oh, really? Was, no, I'm not kidding at all. <laughs> this, this is like the third thing in a row, like three weeks in a row, where I've been like, hey, let's do this bit where I open the clothes. <laughs> it's starting to become a thing. Yeah, it's getting a little. It's, it's become problematic. Yo, just so you know, 100% this hat is gonna fall and you're gonna see my face. Yo, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know I'm seeing it. That's so bad. That's not normal underwear. This is normal underwear. Oh, it's cold. This is. Oh. This is. It's balls. It's balls are on the side. Balls are on the side. That's how it's balls. <laughs> I think uh, that'll do it. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to spin around and take some of the friends. You might look like you're rocking out back there. I gave him as soon as I saw him. I said, You look so fucking hot this week. Hello? Hey, man. How are you? How was your weekend? Good. How was yours? I was a little scared and worried for you. You seem awful, awful giggly. Yeah, I was, well, I was worried for you. As a friend, you was worried for your safety. Really? Would you have protected me? Absolutely. There's one thing I hate, it's red-blooded Americans. I don't know, man. Like, that came out of nowhere. Um, a couple weeks ago, he chirped me for my team losing to LSU, so I said, all right, well, fair, fair play. He is an LSU fan. Let's, let's... No, he's an LSU and a Purdue fan. 
Fine. Yeah. That's okay. if that's his belief system. Who am I to say it's wrong? But he chirped me about LSU being Mississippi State, which is my sole team. And uh, I just marked it down in my mind. Okay, fine. We're now doing this, aren't we? So I just started tweeting, how's he allowed to have two teams? I started tweeting out pictures of him and Purdue and LSU. And it, it rubbed him the wrong way. He didn't, he didn't like that. Did you make that t-shirt? Mm -mm. No, nah, that was made by a graphic designer. That's not what I, that's not what I do here. I'm, there's no reason for me to fight. You do have beef with him, though. I you, don't have beef with him. Your beef is that he supports two teams. You said that. But that's that's not. There's no anger. You're just stating facts. I'm just messing, and I'm gonna keep messing with him about it. But you should. Sure? So if he challenges you for real, you're gonna say no. I will say no. Yes, probably, maybe. But uh, why would he? Ch I don't understand why. This doesn't seem like a rough and rowdy issue. It didn't at first. Yeah. Grown man spending his Saturdays crying about me having a good time, laugh out loud. No, that's fine. Which is, yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. Uh, has like six kids and is tweeting about my life. Fuck off, guy. Okay, we're starting to get a little. Guy off. We're, <laughs> guy, we're, off. guy off. We're, we're starting to get a little. 110 uh, replies, too. Yeah, we're starting to get a little uh, in the weeds. No, Joey, you don't play this card. You started this war. And, <laughs> and this is where I just say, you're good, because I. It's, what's, what's going on, buddy? Is everything all right? And that's when I got the text. Uh, I'll drop your fucking gym bass, dumbass, fucking stupid bullshit here, tweet it rough and rowdy, I'm sure that'll be the case, you gotta relax, yeah. fuck you dude, I'm out. Respect. He had a few, you know, he had a few. Uh, he yeah. Was He's a cold-blooded American. Red-blooded American. That too. Red-blooded American, uh, he lashed out, gets pissed from time to time, happens, onward. Okay. Um, I mean, well, it, this is one of those rare cases in Barstool where you I'm can right. see 100% of the fault. Is on one person. Right, yeah. If he still has a pulse, he's going to need to come on and address this, or else he's going to address him on the Dave Portnoy show. Joey, you there? Hey, Brandon, what's up, fellas? Hey, Joey. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and, and, and talk this thing out. What's going on? What, what happened? Well, I, can, I, can, I, can I say my piece first? Yes, please. Well, first, I just want to apologize to you, Brandon. I said some nasty things that in the heat of the moment I regret and i shouldn't have said you've always been a good friend and good co-worker to me okay and i was i was a little heated and i said things that i regret and i apologize about that and so it's been weighing on my chest since saturday and i want to get that out there to you no harm no you foul. take it or leave it you yeah. can take it or leave it but i had to get that out there to you so yes let's, let's go all right joe it's over it's over right it's over yeah no I mean, no hey. joe we don't concede <laughs> that quick I, i'm in your corner if you want to keep it going just for the record. No, I, hey. We do jokey, jokey pokes, and he comes over the top with a haymaker. So, Joe, it's about time. Joey, I say you should double down and just fucking chop this tree. <laughs> Rico, you make fun of my dad being in jail. This episode of Stool Scenes is brought to you by Roman Swipes. Look, we all knew about the summer smokes, but guess what? The autumn of smokes is in full swing, too, and the autumn of of sex is in the air for everyone right now. Fall's love season, it's fashion season, it's apple picking season. You go out there with your girlfriend for a day, you come back, you're gonna do some fucking and you wanna last longer. It's not always gonna work thinking about, I mean the Yankees, you'll, you'll never be able to stay hard. Think about the Yankees, how pathetic they were. You need Roman swipes. They're a clinically proven way to last longer in bed. They come in discreet packaging like this. They fit in your wallet, you take it off, you swipe it. Your girl doesn't even have to know. You're gonna last longer, have better sex. If you wanna get Roman, Go to GetRoman.com slash scenes and you'll get your first month for just $5 when you choose a monthly plan. That's GetRoman.com slash scenes. Can they do pop punk without you? I'd rather not. I mean, I don't know. So then you got to cancel elbow surgery. Oh, yeah. We just booked it. Come on. Dude, so like you only see the, uh, you only see the surgeon, like obviously like right when he's about to do it. He like comes in, he's in his like outfit and he's like, He's like kind of like a stoolie too, like he knows me and he goes, you're so fucking stupid that you weren't going to do this. And then after the surgery, he said your elbow was so fucked, like the fact that you weren't going to do that is insane. It was more like caught and Dangles. almost dead, the nerve. I had the surgery on Wednesday, like I have pretty damn good motion. Right, well take it easy. I know, it's throbbing right now, I just did that. I hate to bring it here, but how's the wiping situation? You gotta learn how to do a left. So is there anything you can't do for a while? Yeah, I can't jerk my cock. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
No shame in that. You're on the IR. But wait, hold on. Don't go away. Come back here. This is a little too wrinkled. I can't wear this. Today. What? Do, what? Are the, what's the? What's the probability for October twenty first? Dude, when I got out of surgery, I opened up my phone to all these texts, and it was punk being like, "Oh, I had to go, blah blah blah," and I was like, "I think I'm gonna be all right." Like for October, they're like, we're just not doing that. Like, Roan can't do it. So, like, he's just like, we're not. I was like, imagine I didn't get the surgery. Jerry, talk to me. What's going on? We're gonna have a different. We're gonna do negotiations over with Dave. I still haven't received the two pizzas. Um, that's here nor there. I mean, all my family's going without right now. But we're gonna try to get something better, something good for Rough and Rowdy. We'll see what Dave says right now. Hello, David. Fellas. <clears throat> hey, Dave. What's up, Jerry? How you doing? Good. Sorry. Talking to the mic. Talking to the mic. Sorry, sorry to barge in the sh in the show, Dave. I apologize. Do you have any idea what's happening here, Eddie? Just had a couple of negotiation things we wanted to talk to you about. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, that's all right. Go ahead. Okay. We did agree on the two free pizzas. Um, but I think I think we we can go without the pizzas. I think my family can go without the pizzas for right now. Um for the yeah, I don't know if you he hasn't gotten the pizzas yet is what he's trying to say you, he just you started like two days that's, yeah, fine. that's, that's fine. fine that's, that's fine. fine he said he's fine going but, without it yeah. yeah it's fine but it, but just so we know well, he just started this but yeah but he has not three yeah sure. but he hasn't gotten the pizzas okay. has not gotten the pizzas Eddie maybe we me and my family can go without the two free pizzas if we can agree to these two terms first term Five almond Nature Valley, my favorite, um, biscuits a week. And the second one would be possibly, this would be a dream for Jersey Jerry. Mike Tyson to walk me out at Rough and Rowdy or a Mike Tyson impersonator. If we can agree to these terms, maybe forget about the pizzas. But you want Mike Tyson impersonator? E either Mike Tyson. Well, I mean. Or an impersonator. Well, I don't even know. I'm talking to Jerry beforehand, he wanted it was initially Mike Tyson or Nate Diaz. I was like, why yeah, don't we I'm not gonna put an ounce of effort into any of that? So. I don't think that went good. No, well, they, were, they were like <laughs> crazy. I think it went like, okay. What are you talking? No, about? I think it went fine. I don't think it went good. I think it went fine. You can help me. Yeah, I can help you. I don't think. I still don't think it went good. <laughs> well, no. Yeah. I mean, you know, Jerry. Come on. I mean, two pizzas. It didn't go like bad. Okay, well, we'll be back. Right. We get an impersonator. We we get an impersonator. That's fine. No, we're done. We're what done. are you talking I about? We're I done. I got set up. What do you mean by who? Myself. <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you set yourself up? Set myself. He said he's not gonna put an ounce of effort into anything. I will though. So, he didn't seem happy though. It's not, it's not yeah. even the what is he? What, what Tommy? What is he saying after? What did he say after when we left? Uh, they pretty much changed the topic pretty quickly. So that's not bad. Uh, that's bad. Uh, you think it went bad? Uh, Jerry, it's okay. Uh, yeah, it's dead. It's done. No, it's not. It's, it's, a, it's a bad negotiation. It's, this is on Big Cat now, not me. Well, that's good. At least you got Big Cat. I mean, Dave's an important guy. He's you know he's got other stuff going on. He's got a lot of stuff. I get it. But, I feel like I set myself up. Um, I guess we'll see where it goes, you know? Listen, I probably should have done a better job as an agent. Jerry walked in today. He's like, hey, I, I was thinking because I haven't gotten the pizzas. I want Mike Tyson or Nate Diaz to walk me out in these almond biscuits. I should have been like, just take the pizzas. Now I'm beating myself up. I'm going to have to buy him these almond biscuits now. What are they, almond biscuits? Almond butter, yes. I don't know what the fuck he wants. Looks like it's turning around now. Looks like it's working good. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't fret. Oh, those are the ones? Let me see the picture. Cinnamon almond butter? Those are the best on the planet. Those are the ones? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get those for you because I kind of fucked up the negotiation. Thank you, Cat. I appreciate it. That. That's fine. Right? Thank you. Hello, Tommy. Hello. Nice to see you. If I wasn't listening to the... Uh, yeah, you look. Look, uh, you know, a mistake was made. Um, 
There was a, a, a Bel Air bottle of champagne here a couple weeks ago. It was one Friday. I think we thought it was either mine or Owen's. There was a point where Matt Brown, former you employee. You thought it was your one? You thought it was your one? I thought there was a chance. There was a chance. The, the blue there, one. You wouldn't remember a blue one. There was a point where Matt Brown told me I was going to be the face of Bel Air champagne. I had 18 champagne bottles in my apartment from Bel Air. So when I see Bel Air Champagne, I think that might be Tommy's. That's just how I think. Okay. I never would have thought it was guys. Okay. Um, you never would have thought wine on a desk where I sit. Well, I didn't really know it was on your desk. True. You do know that this is this is kind of like a 50% my desk, right? Right, no, I know. But I think that there was a confusion. They thought it could have been mine, thought it could have been KB's. Uh, you know, yeah, no. I feel like the right has been wronged. Um, she's now the new face of Bel Air. Pretty much, yeah. I do have a lot of blue wine coming my way. Um, Tommy, you know what? It's fine. Like, I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. I apologize, you know. I, I wouldn't do it again. Um, but in the moment, it's a mistake I'd probably make a hundred times out of a hundred times because I would always just think Bel Air. That's, that's my thing. So did you get her a new bottle? I was going to, and then they reached out to her. and Oh. I don't know what this is. This is silly, whatever it is, though. It's a boo. I don't know. I have nothing to do. I don't know what this oh, is. Oh, because like since Bel Air's doing it, you're not gonna? Correct. That's what it seems like. That's what it seems <laughs> well, like. I mean, how much blue wine does a person need? Oh. Make a full-length documentary on the blue wine. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently. I also have this full stack of as if, like, right. I have to now boo Spelling all these people. Spelling and grammar is good, so it's none of our bloggers. It was, it was, it was sitting there for about... 11 months? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not that long. Like six months. Six months. Seven? 11. No, what'd you oh, say? 11? <laughs> sure. 11 okay. months. Okay. Six months. $40 dollar bottle. <laughs> six months. It was a $70 bottle. Six months it's been sitting there. Frankie said this perfectly. Something with the Red Sox Yankees game brings out the last time I was brought. The last time the Yankees Red Sox played in the playoffs, I was brought on the. Oh no, I guess it was two times ago. I was brought on the run. Oh yeah, I was brought on the run down. I mansplained to Blizz. Wrong. I'm saying I love my team so much that I would rather go to sleep a loser and be a fan of my team than wake up a winner and be a Red Sox fan. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. What? I mean, like, no one's saying, we, like, when, when your team loses, you don't be like, I want to become a Red Sox fan. We're just saying, like, they're in a better spot than us. Do you get that? Oh, do I get that? Uh -oh. Like, oh, no. are you mansplaining that we just... Oh, no. Now look at Tommy. I know. <laughs> the only thing that bothered me, the price... Did she just get hushed? Uh -huh. he how do you think our boy's doing? Huh? How do you think our boy's doing? Horrible. What was that voice? Uh, <laughs> it was six months. Kevin the Frog. There's something about something about Yankees Red Sox games where like a Yankee fan's arguing with a female on the. I said you got yeah mansplain mansplain yes yeah, exactly. bad vibes for tonight. I told you bad vibes. Uh, that's bad vibes, dude. Someone's gonna die tonight. So, what are you doing? during during the best bet segment, uh, the Boston Marathon will be run on Sun on Monday, I think. Uh, but in Tam, I groin, and if Tyler there wasn't such a scumbag and just fucking left us dead, uh, I'd be running it. But I'm not. But in honor of this scumbag, I bought like a hundred shirts for everyone. So today. <laughs> is Tyler O'Day, scumbag, fucking Wednesday, fuck you and die. You better run this race with Anna, but you're a scumbag, and so is the Empire State Building. <laughs> now, basically, let me explain where I'm at right now. First of all, Derek Cole, you're a scumbag, 
and you're a cheater and you're a fraud and you're a whore, okay? I don't give back 320 million, 324 million, you robbed us, okay? The little gel, that little sticky stuff. I'd like to put sticky stuff on my dick and fuck you up your ass, you scumbag piece of shit. That's number one. <laughs> number two, my sugars this morning were 401. I weighed in at 213 and a half. Uh, that's death level. But for some reason, I still feel great. I could still roll a major blunt. Fucked my wife last night, first time in six weeks because she broke her shoulder. Uh, was I fabulous? Fuck yes. That's what I do. It's like falling off a bike. I fucking just go in. You know the Jets Falcons game is in London? Yeah. Um, Hannah? Yes. Okay. I do know that. Good. Over the sea. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is gonna happen again, huh? Everyone's oh my god, Dave's accent. I, I had that. I met across I had the pack. pond. I've been working on it all night. It's so bad. <laughs> Try I've been the worst it. one. The, uh, the, 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 it's you have a young game in London tonight. We have the Jets to do a lot of Falcons. Yeah, it's so bad. You sound like Austin Powers having a stroke. I'm trying to sound like Michael Caine in The Dark Knight. Big Cat's gonna make you talk like that, you know? He's also gonna finger my butthole today. <laughs> gonna be one of the greatest acting performances in my career. It's whatever. You did what with him? You're, you're like He's gonna finger my butthole. Who is? Big cat. That He's gonna fun. finger your butthole. Yeah, that's what he said. It's called method acting. What is this like an Urban Meyer situation? Yeah. A reenactment? You know, what whatever. A Wait, why? Urban Meyer got drunk. And, and was and was having this girl grind him at a bar, and then he was finger fucking her in the bar, and then he didn't take the plane. Oh, I, I thought I saw this video, but I didn't know he was actually. He did it, and then he took, then he didn't take the plane home with the team off a loss because he ended up fucking this girl, and he's married with kids, and he's the head coach of a fucking NFL team. Oh, Urban so Maya. his wife saw it on the bar. Fuck yes, his, his wife, wife and kids. Yeah, his wife was like, yeah, going to go and fuck though. But, his wife yeah. doesn't give a shit. I mean, she has like a, a stretch vagina. Oh. <laughs> Age! Hey, can't do it. No, I'm serious. I heard that Urban Meyer's wife could take a football hole in her vagina. Oh, God. You always have to take it first, too. Well, I mean, that's the truth. I didn't make it up. What do you mean? Like, all of a sudden, I made up, like, hi, Urban Meyer's wife can swallow a football? Yeah, just do the same thing. He's going to grind up on you. Tom? All right. So I'm going to I'm gonna do you, Stu, and then I'm going to cut, and I'm going to throw you the sweatshirt you put it on. All right? So today, on Mush Line a couple weeks ago, I interviewed a kid who would prank TikTokers into thinking they can audition on things, uh, uh, for auditions for music videos, for Outer Banks and stuff. And you know, I was like, hey, I'm trying to sell a fight, right? Yep. We're trying to make this the biggest pay per view event of all time for, for sure. Rowdy. Yep. We got two months, we got to stir some things up. We're going to prank Jersey. We're going to. Prank Nadu. Yeah, you're not gonna prank <laughs> Jersey Jerry. Nobody prank Jersey Jerry. We're gonna prank. We're gonna prank Mr. Nadu here. He's gonna think he's going on some little audition to be on a TV show in the History Channel for his little bubblegum mafia podcast. It ain't happening. After he's done auditioning, I'm gonna hop in and say, "Surprise, motherfucker! It's Jersey Jerry. Ain't nobody want that bullshit podcast, brother. Okay? Welcome to the show." The kid who's doing it is 19 years old. So I don't know if he doesn't realize when he gets on the screen with a 19 year old. Yeah. 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 It's just try to try to get like like a solid 10 out of him. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. You know, the mafia obviously has had a, a long standing hold on our country. So um, I, I just kind of rambled, and I'm really kind of intuitive as far as I'm very good at memorizing things and, and keeping things in my head, and I can kind of articulate them to other people. So God, this I feel like I kind of educate fraud, people on the shark. Yeah, for me, like I don't, I live by all those ethical things. Like I don't, I don't call the police. You know, if I have an issue, I deal with it myself. And uh, you know, I feel like today's you're getting mad. <laughs> now I'm mad. I'm mad. Like it was funny in the beginning. Now I'm getting mad because this guy's a fraud. So, yeah, I consider myself. He's getting mad. Things. Like I, I so. I don't know how much you know about me, but um, don't I used it. to work at Barstool Sports. I'm oh. sure you know what that is. Oh my god. Um, oh yeah. yeah, I'm a big fan of Barstool. Yeah, so I worked there for, for a good amount of time. I've been connected with them off and on for a while. Oh and god. when I was working there, I had the idea to do the sit down and I was gonna put it out through them. Awesome, and let, let's just, because it's uh, the Godfather script forever, but first thing we need to do, uh, we just do need to do some profile shots if we can get you just looking straight at the camera, a front one. And then to the side, and then um, other side, and then just, you can give us like a smolder or something. Now again, like I don't usually look like, usually I have my hair spiked, so I probably should have 
Maybe did that. It's all good, man. Spiked. I feel like this is like a. Yeah, cool. I like it. Awesome. Let's go over this Godfather skip. You got so I gotta admit, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So I'm just gonna do it as a natural. All right, you got the script pulled up? Yeah, so I'm Bonacera. Yep, you're Bonacera. And then I'll just be Don. It starts off um, it's like the bad, setting. Bro. Oh, oh, I feel so bad. Like nah, I don't feel bad. This is a fucking scumbag, bag, bro. All right, all right. Fight it. Fight it. Scene, lights on top of Bonacera. He's very emotional. Um, and he eventually gets on the brink of almost crying towards the end of that. I raised my daughter in the American fashion. I gave her freedom, but I taught her how to dishonor her family, never dishonor her family. She found a boyfriend. He wasn't Italian. She went to the movies with him, stayed out late. Two months ago, he took her for a drive with another boyfriend. They made her drink whiskey. When they tried to take advantage of her, she resisted. So, we know each other for the years. But this is the first time you come to me for help. I don't remember the last time you invited me to your house for coffee, even though our wives are friends. What do you want from me? I'll give you anything, but I'll do what I ask. Please do what I ask. He's <laughs> so acting! Please say so hello to my little friend! No, you asked for too much. I asked for justice. Justice! I, I kind of, just a quick little run through, I kind of know like where I'm where I'm going with this. So, okay. Okay, cool. And then, make sure you really, you gotta, can you do a pretty thick Italian accent? So, America has made them my fortune. Oh my gosh. Like that? Or like a, yeah. like a New York. America has made my fortune. <laughs> A little bit of pole, just a stick it, just a boat. Whatever you can do, the strongest. Okay. Just, like a boat. just to come, so as we can kind of get a better feel, uh, sitting down is kind of a little weird. Oh, no. um, and you can't really reenact everything as much. You maybe just stand up. I'm gonna just like, I can kind of move around like this, so. Is that okay. all right? She uh, said no. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we'd prefer if you could stand up. <laughs> far. What about like this? Yeah, 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 that's good. You can like get hunched over like that. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> I'm ready whenever you are. Slap your hands again. I'm gonna start more sad in a way, and then I'm gonna kind of get into my pissed off. Okay, and we're gonna go all the way. This through. stupid motherfucker, bro. I raised my daughter to the American way. I gave her freedom, but I taught her to never dishonor her family. She brought to her boyfriend. He wasn't Italian. Don Corleone. I asked you for justice. Perfect. I'm sure you know the line, say hello to my little friends, right? <laughs> say hello to my... Yeah, sure, for sure. Awesome. Will you do that for us? Just that? Really? Yeah, he's about a... Yeah, just, just a classic line right there. I'll tell you one. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> one more time. A little bit more. Say hello to my little friend. You have to get away. Say hello to my little friend. Hey, Carl, do you guys have anything else you'd like to ask Jeff or anything like that? Surprise, motherfucker. You ain't in no audition, you stupid fuck. Nobody wants your podcast, you this fucking dumb fuck. Wow, you think somebody old. wants your fucking podcast, you stupid bubblegum rat? You piece of shit. Whoa. You crushed it. Yeah, you did. You're going to be on TV, pal. You know, it's funny. You're going to be on TV. That's what, that's what I want. Yeah, that's what you want, you stupid fuck. Ain't nobody wants you, Jeff. Nobody. And stop bringing up you used to work at Barstool Sports. You don't work here no more, pal. You, took all this time you don't work. Welcome to the fight game. Welcome to the fight game. You're a fraud, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fraud. You're a fraud. Say. The same guy calling me. Jack, don't talk about my wife. Who yeah. said that? The I'll smack the shit out of you, you fat fuck. Can I really share that Yeah, with yeah. Wait till I pop that lap band out your stomach and the staples are going to be on the ring. Sorry, I don't have a fucking yeah, look at that fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crumple you bad, bad, bad. Wait till I dent your forehead in. Wait till I dent your forehead in. Say hello to my little friend, huh? Fucking motherfucker. Yeah. Welcome to the fight game. Welcome to the fight game. Yeah. I just put myself out there. I, I, I tell, I tell you what was funny. You, you know what was funny? You making a fucking fool of yourself. That's what was funny. Hey Jeff. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> hey Jeff. I see you in the funny papers, pal. I see you in the funny papers, you dumb bitch. Peace. Hide behind a fucking blank screen.
told him to do that, uh, we sent him a casting email that he's going to be in a mafia movie for the History Channel. And we got him to audition. Appreciate that. It's, yeah, it's been fun doing it. <laughs> and that's me and Jerry over yeah, there. This is actually so mean. Like, oh, this my is so God. mean. Genius. Tommy did this to me with Guy Fieri one time. It was so mean. Uh, yeah. want to, don't you want to sell fights? Who's this guy? The guy I found on TikTok. He... Are you going to stand for this? This is... Look, I'm part of the army, but I just said. Wait, is this a live zoo? Very mean. No. It's bullying. It's bullying. What are we bullying? What kind of thing? fight are we bullying. doing, huh? I hate bullying. Yeah, get over watch some bullying, Tommy. You know what? Somebody's okay to talk about my mom. Oh. You did? Yeah. What did he say? He said that I still live with my mom. <laughs> That's not really. No, that is. That That's is. a fact. It's a fact, but you don't say that out loud. What? What? When's the reveal? Okay. All right. Hey, you're supposed to be my you want? No, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. We're sorry, I'm sorry. Sometimes you're just gonna play devil advocate, okay? You're right, you're right. This gets a little confusing sometimes, you know? Where did this happen? I mean, it's a very happened, funny huh? concept. Oh, I just feel really? Yeah. yeah. What well, else? Jerry um, joined the Zoom? Yeah. I'll skip. I thought he was gonna join. This is so mean. Oh, no, this is. <laughs> I'm acting. Okay. This is so mean. Oh, my God. <laughs> We sent, I sent the casting email to Nadu that he's going to be in a mafia movie for the History Channel. And then we had him act and say, like, say hello to my little friend, and that's Who's me and Jerry guy? over there. The I, pop in. I got I a pop kid in. on TikTok that does this. My wire. And then you pop in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you have that? Yeah. yeah we're getting there. Oh, I he's, <laughs> he's acting out. Oh, oh, let me see. Oh, let me man. see. Okay, this is kind of. It's fucked up. It's, it's cruel. Hey, it's a fight game. <laughs> it is a fight game. But I don't condone either. Like, and those bastards, they let's, where, where are we going to get to the They take the justice from the judge. Oh, okay. I could just do it if you want. Yeah, yeah, do it. Okay. Um, nice game. <laughs> One more time? I'm not laughing. <laughs> Watch the door. Can I lock the door? That's what he does. Okay. And the guy looks over. Now you just can't leave. Okay, cool. Hey, Carl, do you guys have anything else you'd like to ask Jeff or anything like that? Surprise, motherfucker. You ain't in no audition, you stupid fuck. Nobody knows your podcast. This is good. Wow, you took all this time to do that? You fucking podcast, you stupid bubblegum rat. You piece of shit. This is what we have. This audition, pal, you fucking killed it. I thought I did well. You crushed it, yeah, you did. You're going to be on TV. You know, it's funny. You're going to be on TV. That's what I want. Yeah, very mean. Funny, very mean. Very mean. Very mean. That's what was funny. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's not that hard to believe. Yeah. Hey, Jeff. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely nice. Like Fight promoter. How does this make you feel? Breaks my heart. Uh, but that's the that's that is the fight game. You know, I'm not here to break uh, people's feelings or, or make them feel any type of way. I didn't even know this was going to happen. Uh, Mush and Jerry are going to do some psychopathic stuff. I'm, this is like when they talk about the Joker, when Michael Caine warns Batman, escalation. What is Ndu going to do to get them back? <laughs> he might show up at the office randomly one day. And what happens then? <laughs> Nick, yeah, nice to meet you, man. How are we doing? Uh, ready to do this? Alright, yeah. we took you to an odd spot. Alright. What's going on? Uh, Pizza review time. Special guest, Vinny Hacker, who we've had on BFFs before. And our crowd's a little always different. I came to the pizza crowd, the BFF crowd. This guy's like the Beatles right now. Girls fucking love him. He's saying, oh, they're just telling me, like, camping out in front of his place. 
He's got the vibe, the, the eagle, and the tattoos, and new tattoo. Yeah, his name's Lloyd. Lloyd. When'd you get that? Yesterday. Yeah, brand new. Did you know? Is that impromptu? Just like I'm in the movie, yeah, you go. Just like fuck it. Now we took you to a pizza place. I don't even know how we haven't done it. I can't believe it's a pizza place called Jerusalem Cafe. Guy comes to New York and we take him to Jerusalem Cafe. <laughs> I like what, what's that tattoo about for real? Well, I fucking I sent my artist like, so I sent her a picture. Of it was just like a crow, and then with the crow with the plague mask on it, since it was you know kind of incorporated now already. And then she was like, let's fucking throw it on a person, and the person's got sandals on and shit. So it's dope. It's like, a wild tattoo. It's a wild All right. tattoo. All right, there it is. Yeah. Are you guys coming back to the office right now? Yeah. All right. Gotta stop by. Oh, yeah. You gotta, you gotta see this. You gotta see this shit. Is this is tattoo? some, this is some Tom fuckery. Like, <laughs> hey Dave, you gotta check his tattoo out. Check out his tattoo. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a check new, fresh tattoo. Yes, sir. My new favorite, favorite tattoo. Hi. Oh, Vinnie Hart tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For him? Yeah. yeah. What's like your relationship? I'm just a friend. For real? He came, I, he came yeah. up to me while I was getting this tattoo, and just came up to me and held a like a stencil of a heart with his name in it. Wait, did you just meet? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Oh, I no, thought no, you no, like no. happened no. to be in there. No, no, no. <laughs> no. And he came up to me and he was like, yo, it's your turn now. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'll feel like a dick if I don't get something like that. Well, that's that. weird. You know what I'm saying? Well, not weird, but. But it's like. What do you mean? It can't, no, you can't have tattoo jokes, though. Can you? No. I mean. I mean, you can. I think it you can. can. Yeah. Round upon. Let me see it again. People are gonna think, you know, and maybe you are. That, <laughs> that's what that's I was like, saying. Like, yeah, gay, that's what totally I was fine, saying. Are you are you gay? No. All right. That people are gonna think. Not that matters, but that's like clearly, if you have another guy tattoo with a heart. Which again, I want to make it very clear. I could care less, but. Oh, he's got a whole girlfriend. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But do you? Yeah. That's <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, Breaking and entering. Have a seat, buddy. Okay. I'm sure. dabbled in the TikTok world. <laughs> All right. This is a TikToker. What's up, man? How you doing? He so knows who you are. Grab a mic. We have uh, son, grab a mic. We have a bunch of fucking old fucks on this show. What's your Katie and call, dude? <laughs> oh my god. Like, it's like Search and Destroy? Is that what no, you're no, no, no. Warzone. Just War. Oh, Warzone, dude. I'm actually terrible at Warzone. You know, he Warzone. once said that he would buy real estate in Verdansk. It looks like a <laughs> I mean, it's a scenic, it's a scenic city, isn't it? Of course, it's like bombed out and depleted, like it's Baghdad or something. But take that away, and it's like a nice. Bro. There's mountains. There's a river. There's beaches. Uh, the downtown area with Nakatomi Plaza is beautiful. I love it. You love the dance. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so you're you're way the nuclear are, you talk, are you talking about like with all the people still dropping in from the sky? No, no, no. I'm talking like, if it's just like a normal city without the war and guns and you know. I don't think you are you going to be the only one there? Yeah. Are you no, it's, it's no. Yourself? People are like going to work and going yeah. to lunch. He would vacation just, in Chernobyl if it was possible. <laughs> I mean, it's quiet now. You can you can do tours in Chernobyl, of course. Yeah. yeah. You're a fucking moron, man. Why am I a moron? What do you mean? You want to live in Berdansk? I'm saying you can't take war out of where it is. It's empty. It's just empty now. Yeah, yeah Syria. What I want, Syria looks like. You gonna go? Is there, you think you go to CBS there? I apologize, Vinny. Vinny, is that your name? I'm sorry <laughs> yeah. for this. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, Wait, hold on. You never answered right. your KD. Shut up, Dave. His KD. You want to know what it is? A point three eight. Unlimited. Wow. It's a point three eight. He's a he's a bum. He's the worst Call of Duty player of all time. Yes, agree. Okay. This guy. This guy sleeps in a trough. Shut up, both of y'all. Shut up. Shut up. One of those urinal ones right. at Wrigley Field. Vinny, what, what are you doing here? Just touring. Oh, cool. Kind cool. of seeing the place. Well, right welcome, welcome to Barstool. Okay, thank you. Vinny, who's your college football team? Seahawks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like you said, couch football team, like sitting uh, on the couch watching it. Oh. Nice job. Thanks. You held your old in there. Killed it with the couch football team. <laughs> I didn't even get to get my KD out there. I didn't even get to say it. <laughs> yeah, so what's your KD? Real. Actually, you know what? <laughs> yeah, you want to set the record straight? Yeah, what's the KD? What Tell it to KD? the... Yeah. I think it's like 5-3. Oh, shit. That's actually pretty yeah. fucking good. That's not even pretty fucking good. That's like legendary status. <laughs> you got any uh, advice for him for fighting? Yeah, I went in there and started fucking swinging. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Yeah. It worked. I know he's the only one that won, but don't do that. Yeah. You're not that. You're not that yeah, I'm not in shape like that. <laughs> no. You know what? 
in reality, literally, you go in there and you just like feel them out for like the first round. So literally, just like I seriously sat there and took his punches for a whole fucking round. I like barely even threw him. No, he's part of the big TikTok. You know where they didn't get paid? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we get, we get, we get paid. It's already, you're already doing ten times better than I am. Thank you. Yeah, that's <laughs>